Hi, I'm Nadine Aisha Jassett, and welcome to this video from the National Library of Scotland's Fresh Ink Initiative, where 10 emerging writers create and share new work on their experiences of 2020. Sean Y. Keung is a Glasgow based poetry, performance, and food maker. Sean's work often uses food as a starting point for explorations of identity and migration. Sean's first full-length poetry collection, Sifan Glasco, was published by Verve Poetry Press in April 2021. Sean's The Recipe brings together different ingredients to make something amazing and unique, blending together food writing, poetry, reflections on the pandemic, Brexit, family history and more, into a piece which feels stylistically unique and deeply engaging and satisfying. Here's Sean reading from The Recipe. Hi, I'm Sean Mike Young. Um, great to be here. And I'm going to be doing a couple of extracts from my poem, The Recipe, which was written based on my food experiences of 2020. And so I'm just gonna share my screen right now and we'll get to it. So this first section, the first section of the poem, it um, starts with a recipe by Yi Gu Siwan, who is a Chinese social media star who specializes in doing lots of things to do with food. So a lot of extreme cooking, uh, a lot of extreme eating. And um, this particular recipe is uh, his recipe that he used to make haggis. And it starts on the 25th of the 1st, 2020. For the first time in 76 years, Lunar New Year and Burns at Night fall on the same day. Haggis. Sheep stomach, sheep lungs, sheep liver, sheep heart, oats, onion, pepper powder. Soak the lungs, liver and heart in water for an hour. Wash the sheep stomach four times. Cut the lungs, liver and heart into pieces and place in cold water. Boil over high heat, then take out. Wash oats and put on a baking tray. Bake until golden brown. Cut onion into pieces. Mash lungs, liver, heart, onion and pour into dish. Add oats and pepper powder to the mash. Pour the broth that you cook the lungs, liver and heart in over the mixture. Turn the sheep stomach inside out and tie the head up. Fill the stomach with the mixture, not too tight, about two thirds. Tie the other end of the stomach up. Boil for three hours without a lid adding more water if needed. Everybody is eating together and together we make a body. The lungs are the transport system. They allow us to travel safely. The heart is the houses we visit in order to see our loved ones. The stomach is love. The liver is processing. This body comes together with other bodies to form a body of bodies. We wrap ourselves tightly in bodies for warmth and comfort and food. We eat bodies together. We create bodies together. We remember bodies. According to an NY Times article written by Fergus M. Bordovich, and published on February 12th, 1984, titled Chinese Hearts and Scottish Highlands. The celebrating of Burns has become a gala event in the People's Republic of China, where the poet has been taken on as a patron saint of proletarianism. A few days after my family visit, I traveled to Dumfries and visit the Burns Mausoleum. A few streets over, a takeaway says authentic Cantonese cuisine. I buy some chips and they're delicious. 
Soon after I return to Glasgow, the first lockdown is announced. So this second section I'm going to do, it's based on Kajip Dan, which is a type of boiled egg that's marinated in tea. Um, and it sort of gives the egg a sort of infusion of tea flavor. Um, and it's a recipe that I associate quite a lot with my family and it's a recipe that I've enjoyed making over lockdown. Um, and it starts on the 29th of the 6th, 2020. After numerous phone calls to 111, an ambulance is finally called to take my popo to the hospital where it's believed that her pain can be, be managed better. Marbled Kajip Dan. Eight eggs, two black tea bags, one teaspoon of five spice powder, four teaspoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of rock sugar, one star anise, half a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn, one teaspoon of Shaoxing rice wine. Place room temperature eggs in a pot of cold water, bring to a boil and then reduce heat, leave to simmer for six minutes. Drain the eggs, then cool under running water. When cold enough to touch, gently crack the eggshells all over with the back of a spoon. Place eggs back in a clean pot and add all the other ingredients and top with enough water to cover the eggs. Bring to boil, then turn down heat. Simmer for 10 minutes. Transfer everything to a container. Leave to steep for at least 12 hours. According to Wikipedia, Cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. These contrast with benign tumors, which do not spread. Things that break. Windows, records, sweat, hearts, statues, wind, rocks, Phones, watches, hobs, clouds, eggs, brains, glasses, laptops, doors, trust, movement, lungs, spirit, locks, toys, protests, breadsticks, bones, noses, mirrors, bread, agreements, habits, silences, ligaments, lines, ceilings, workshops, glaciers, communications, light bulbs, skulls, injunctions, days, parliaments, software, performances, souls. Fingers, spaghetti, streaks, promises, kneecaps, synapses, waves, bonds, wrists, families, friendships, ornaments, morals, storefronts, deals, rhythm, societies, fasts, truces, boundaries, hardware, spines, laws, balls, presses, freedoms, stalemates, contracts, news, ecosystems, gadgets, tears, pistachios, work, systems, rules, traditions, narratives, legs, water, surface, illusions, cases, ribs, Tupperwares, histories, emotions, banks, fires, wishbones, chocolate, curfews, paragraphs, hegemonies, lockdowns, it. My papa was born on the 29th of January, 1933, in Wong Lai Zhao village in rural Hong Kong. By 1956, she was a marrying age and word spread that a successful business owner, also from Hong Kong, but now in the UK, was looking to not only arrange a marriage for himself, but to also fly his bride-to-be to the UK. This was unusual as most arranged brides had to travel for a month by boat instead. My papa liked the idea and after seeing a photo of the business owner, she agreed to be his wife. Her parents didn't like the thought of their eldest daughter travelling and living on the other side of the world, but my papa was determined and money was tight. At least take these eggs with you, they said to her, handing her a Tupperware. 
Who knows what food they will try to give you over there. Thank you all so much. <laughs>